Hi everyone, this is teacher Sandra. So in this video, we'll be going through assumption method or supposition. So let's read the question. There are a total of 11 cows and ducks in a farm. These animals have a total of 36 legs. So they want us to find how many cows are there. So first, let me draw 11 animals. Okay, so these represent the 11 animals in the farm. Now, what are the four steps to solving assumption questions? Firstly, we've got to find out the total. Second step, to find out the extra. Next, find out the difference. And last, we're going to find out the opposite. Okay, so what do I mean? Now, the question wants us to find a number of cows. If the question wants us to find cows, we'll assume all to be the other thing. And in this case, the other thing refers to ducks. So we're going to assume all of them are ducks. Right? So ducks, two legs each, right? So I'm going to give them each two legs to make them ducks. So now all of them are ducks. Now what have I just done? 11 animals, correct? Each I've given two legs. So 11 times two legs. I've given out a total of 22 legs. Okay, so the next step is to find the extra. Now, do you see in the question they tell us there are a total of 36 legs? So, we have already given out 22 legs. How many extra legs are there? 36 legs, the total legs, right? Take away the 22 legs that we have already given away. We're left with 14 legs. So, we still have 14 legs extra. So these are the extra legs. Okay. Now the third step. The difference. What do I mean by the difference? Now one cow, four legs. One duck, two legs. The difference is we subtract. So the difference between one cow and one duck will be two legs. What I'm going to do is to take out two legs from the extra legs and give it to the duck. To make it a cow. I know it sounds weird, but I redistribute that two legs. Become four legs, right? So now the first one becomes a cow. Okay, so what I'm going to have to do is to redistribute all the extra legs in groups of two. Now I take out two again, give it to the next animal. Now that one becomes a cow. Okay, and I go on, take another two, give it to the third one, take another two. Now the fourth one becomes a cow. Two again, fifth one becomes a cow, and so on, and so forth. Now I have redistributed all the legs. That means no more extra legs really. Okay. What have I just done? I've taken the 14 extra legs and grouped them into groups of twos, right? So 14 divided by 2, I have just made 7 of them cows. So the answer is, there are 7 cows. So this is how we do the assumption method. See you guys in the next video.